Bitcoin has just formed a bullish crossover here with the 20 and the 12 EMA, which signals that it is now on its way to try and push this into an uptrend above this uh, potential bearish crossover here that we might be finding ourselves happening. So what could happen here is that when these cross over, it signals that this over here will be our resistance, our top or our supply, and we should dump from here. We do have this over here at about 20,600 holding us up as support but the signal in itself if we do cross over this being resistance would mean that this is one top this is the second time you've come into that and you have failed to break it so potentially a double top and uh, yeah basically it would signal continuation lower now we want to invalidate that correct and because we've now seen this bullish cross, what we need to see to invalidate this one from having a bearish cross, which is the 55 and the 200, we need to uh, invalidate that by simply forming something called an EMA repel. Now, this EMA repel, the only way this actually happens is, is if price climbs above it. So we can't use this as resistance. We need to climb above and push price above, let's say 26,000. Let's just say 26,000, this nice psychological level. See a weekly candle close above that. It means we're pushing through these. That means they're not uh, acting as resistance. And so we'd want to flip them into support. This will form a slingshot action. And so with that, uh, we will actually uh, keep this uh, in this bear, a bullish cross because it's actually never formed the bearish cross these two can you see as long as we're above them we're bullish yes we are currently under but if we can quickly reclaim it before the bearish cross then we're good for the continuation upwards to the next resistance about 33 34k yes there's some earlier ones but i'm looking at this as a target as well but um if we now take a look at a different chart, this one over here, I started on that one because the, clo the, 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 the current weekly candle is correct. On this one, it's a bit odd. It's saying that it's currently towards the open. It opened, uh, this one closed here, so this one opened here, but it's saying it opened up there. So that's why we're looking at the other chart. We'll focus on this one at the moment. So if we take a look at the daily time frame over here, we see that we've marked out some levels. We said we don't want to lose the zero fib and we want to maintain above this golden pocket to continue to 24 and 25K. We met 24K. Now we want to actually understand why did we dump from here? Well, of course, this signal in itself is a shooting star. Now, if we draw a resistance across, whether you want to draw it across the body over here, that's signaling that this is resistance. That's fine to have this line that is completely correct, but I'd like to put my resistance on the first tap of this range over here. And we can see I've just extended that line and uh, we have no candle closes above the high of this wick. So that's signaling to me personally that it doesn't want to continue up. You see this, this wick suggests that price was up here at 24,200, but could not continue because we didn't close the daily time frame. You see up here the daily time frame. Well, in about 10 hours time, 10 hours and 51 minutes, this current candle over here will close. So if, for example, it had 10 hours and a half left and it was up here, it'd need the close above and uh, by the daily candle close, this would signal continuation to 25K. But unfortunately we didn't get that. That's a bearish reversal candlestick. So although we pumped with a lot of momentum into this, we had a bearish reversal candlestick. So it was coming up and it reversed with this candle with the wicks to the top, it wants to drop. And we drop back to this support over here. And I gave you this wick, let's go to the four hour time frame. So over here last week, I gave you this wick where we had one, two bounces. So that's a double bottom in itself. You've come down into there, you've held it support. You've come up, created some sort of neckline and come back down into there, formed a bullish candlestick, a hammer, and then you've come back up to the resistance, but failing to close above. You see, to validate the double bottom, we need closes above and we unfortunately did not get that. So it means that this target over here is not valid, okay? It means that 25K is not going to happen. As long as we're below that uh, line I marked on the daily time frame, which is this uh, resistance, 23,800. So we need to see price climbing above that. This is the four hour time frame, so we'd need to see it, you know, uh, a push above and it actually being confirmed to support. You see here that you closed above and closed back under. The same thing happened over here. You closed above very slightly, but it still did close above. And then the next candle did close back under and then another wick rejection. So these wick rejections are saying, okay, I don't want to actually break past this because I was beyond it. I was higher and then I got suppressed back under. So there's a brick wall over here essentially. 
So going forward, we need to see this, the 1414 cleared. And the, I've got this Fibonacci from Saturday a couple weeks ago on the 21st. Saturday the 21st, we marked out the beginning of this range. I'm always looking at the beginning of the range. From there to there, we marked out that golden pocket. And for the last week or so, we have been talking about this golden pocket and how we want to stay above it. And then we marked out this level. So truly, you've got a big box over here of demand or of support. So we're trying to find bullish candlesticks or uh, reversal candlesticks so as we're coming down we want to find bullish reversal candlesticks or bullish chart patterns reversal ones so in this case in the area of focus which is the golden pocket over here but knowing we need to hold above this and technically down here as well because last week uh, a few weeks ago well Wednesday 25th there was a trade over here on the 15 minute time frame if you remember that one amazing like the video if you took that one or of this second double bottom from last week as well so so going back to the daily, oh sorry, the four hour time frame, my mistake. We're looking for those bullish reversal ch uh, chart patterns. So we've got a potential W pattern, but as we were explaining up here, we need to close above the neckline. And I see this neckline at $23,044. And we can actually see that price has rejected it. So this is not a good sign. We need to see price pushing through that wick it's now created, which is 23,056. So that's about 12, a uh, few, t about 10, $12 higher than this uh, resistance over here. But yeah, we want, to be honest guys, can you see how we're above the 618 right now? You see this neckline I've drawn? Well, in fact, the wick, where did the wick bounce off? Exactly on that 786, touching the 55 orange and the 20 purple moving averages. So this is where we want to actually break above. A four hour close above the 786. The fact that we did close above the 618 over here is positive, but it did close below the 12 moving average. So I'm going to draw this area over here of resistance. So from this point to that, oh, my mistake. From this point over here, where the 12 is, to there, we've got a brick wall between here. So this is what we're trying to fight to get above. If we close above this area, Oh, let's put it, move it to the 786. We need to push through this area at the moment. At any moment in this area, that could be the 12, the neckline of the double bottom, this wick over here, the 20, as well as the 55, as well as the 786. These could all be rejection points. So for bullish trades, for, uh, for um, yeah, to, to, if we believe that we are going to come back up and try and break through to 25k, which is this old double bottoms target, we need this smaller one to break out above the 786 because at the moment we are trapped under and this is going to give further opportunities for price to be suppressed back further towards 22.5. And we know for a fact that to keep this bullish, to keep the potential uh, 25k, uh, at, uh, like intact, we need to stay above 22,300. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you check out my new Twitter, Louis Vibes underscore, it is linked underneath this video. But yeah, make sure you do follow me over there if you want to take action on the course or the mentorship, which I am, um, yeah, offering at the moment. They both include the community chat if you're interested. So head over to my Twitter. Please message me over there, private message me, and we'll get you into the chat ASAP. Thank you, guys.